lights off. We're here at Devin's Car Care for this next episode of the Cheap Jeep. And we're gonna get a lift to our Comanche. So uh, let's get together with Devin and let's talk about what needs doing. So the best case scenario is we've got a couple synchros that are shot, right? Correct. And the worst case scenario is this transmission shot. These aluminum cones are what our problems are. Back to neutral, we have neutral. Our unit works. That's awesome. And finally, five. Five. Hey! Works. All right, looks like we got a gearbox. Okay, good to see you. Good to see you, my man. So uh, we got our lift from Terraflex, and I thought we would kind of go quickly and do an unboxing. But first, my real concern is this. We got some tires. Got some BFG's pizza cutters. Look at these bad boys. But. Here's my concern. These are uh, 33s. <laughs> we may have to lose those mud flaps. Yeah, I want to keep these though. Right. Okay. What do you think the mud flaps have to go? I'm okay without the mud flaps. I'm not okay without this. Right, of course. We'll leave that. Yeah. And we did go with our friends at uh, BFG. They sent us not the um, not the all terrains, but we got the mud terrains. Yeah, the the new, new these are the new brand new KM3s. Yeah, and the reason we got the KM3s was uh, because I love these big, you know, lugs. I mean, it just looks oh, yeah. bad, right? The mud tire, yeah. The yeah, big. the mud tire. I mean, if you're gonna go off roading on a truck, that's what you want. That looks cool. Yeah, the, the uh, KO2 is great, but this mud train, I think, is the right way to go, especially the new one. So we've got a couple issues. First, first and foremost, uh, we've got a death wobble, okay. a really bad one. I mean, I was going down the highway. And this thing was bucking like a Bronco. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> what could that be? And can you take a look and see if you can fix it? Yeah, most of the time it's worn steering and suspension components. Yeah, so we're going to replace the suspension components. Right. We have a new track bar. But we'll inspect it when we get it up there. And so it won't, it won't happen, hopefully. Yeah, we'll make sure of it. Because we're driving this thing to Moab uh, on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to be going down I-70 and no, that's, lose control. That's no fun. All right, let's, uh, oh, let's unbox uh, what uh, Terraflex sent us. Cool. Okay. So we worked with our friends at Terraflex. Uh, to kind of send us a lift kit for this. Now, the problem is with the Comanche, not only is it old, right, it's from 1989, <laughs> but it's kind of half XJ, which is Cherokee, and then half truck. So it's got this right. weird setup where the front of it is basically, you know, a Cherokee and the back of it is a truck. So what do they send us here? So we got the front coil springs, the okay. springs. Nice. Bump stop extensions. What's this? Upper bump stop kit. Oh, they sent us the wheel spacer kit, which is nice. Because they thought maybe we need this. Yeah, yeah. factory wheels. I was wondering about that. Yeah, yeah. So, because we, we're using the factory wheels, so um, they're probably going to have to come out a little bit. Yeah. And so this uh, wheel spacer kit lets you lets you take the wheels out so that they actually aren't inside the uh, fenders yeah. as much. So that's going to help hopefully get these big old 33s on. Yep. So, how are we going to do the lift on the back? We're going to do an Atta spring. Yeah, Atta leaf. That's a Atta leaf. really so, nice leaf. So, it basically helps arc the rest of the springs and adds a lift. So, how much do you think we're going to get out of that? A couple inches? Yeah. Yeah. Typically. And then with the, the shackle, we should get another half an inch. All right, let's see what else there is. A box within a box. Yeah. <laughs> And more boxes. Oh, there we go. Uh, so we got upper control arms here. That's great. Well, those are really nice. That is that is a beefy setup. Look at that, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. They always make nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. Terraflex is a quality component. I mean, this is this is Moab worthy. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see this. We got a shock somewhere in here, right? There we go. Look at that. Falcons. Yeah. These are the uh, Terraflex Falcons. This is nice stuff here. Oh yeah, this is this is high quality stuff going on. But basically, was uh, you know a pretty rudimentary truck originally. So Falcon. I think that is actually the steering stabilizer. Oh yeah, steering Which stabilizer. I have not yet seen the Falcon style. That's really? So not shock steering stabilizer. I was wrong. This is like Christmas, Devin. <laughs> I'm so excited. It is exciting stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the Falcon. Shock. There are the Falcon shocks. Look at that. 
Now that is a shock absorber. So this along with uh, the new springs should give this truck a really good ride. Yeah, put them on the JKs and been very pleased. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see what it does on that. So when, when's the last time you actually worked on a Comanche? It's been a long time. <laughs> that's what that's what Zach said at the transmission shop. <laughs> There's just not too many of them around to begin with. I know, you know, we, we, we really looked long and hard to find this guy. Especially find one that's completely stock. Uh, we've got the death wobble. Yep. We've got the lift. Uh, and there's one thing that's driving me absolutely crazy. Let me show you. We just got the transmission fixed. It spins. It spins like crazy. Yeah, I've seen that before. So I like that it's, it's 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 you know it's original, but the damn thing just spins and spins and spins. Yeah, I've seen that before. But it looks like the insert actually spun inside the. So the knob. would it just be worth going to the store and getting like you know they're not expensive like a cue ball? Probably. Yeah, I mean it won't be original, but um, you know this thing is. <laughs> Yeah, that's no fun. All right, cool. So let's see here. There you go. All right. There are the keys. You can, I'll do that in like the next two days. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah, there was a little bit of hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll get it done. Hey, dude. Hey, what's happening? How's it going? Uh, good. Yeah. Just one hit guy. So this, this is supposed to be a rear shock yeah. for a JK. They mount like this. Yeah. The bar pin goes up top. Yeah. So this is the factory shock. You can see. Yeah. So you got the, the stud and then the bar pin. Yeah. And this one, you got the stud and then an eyelet. Okay. So I've never taken these apart. I don't know if I can take the bar pin out of that and put it in here. Well, we can call them to but find out. It even says on the box these are for a JK. Yeah, I know, I know. They, so. I don't think they had, this is the best they could do. They didn't have specialty uh, shocks for this, but they thought that this would work. So we can give them a ring. Okay. Let's give them a ring and let's see what they say. Okay. Let's call from your office. Let me right. go get my phone. Cool. Please leave your message after the tone. Please Hey Dan, it's Roman calling from uh, the Fastlane Truck and Car, and I'm here with uh, Debonair Mechanical. and we're trying to install these shocks and this lift onto the Comanche, but we've run into a problem. I'll let Devin explain. The front end is just like a TJ where you got the bar pin on the bottom and the uh, post on the top. The shocks you sent me are for a JK, and we have a post on top and eyelet on the bottom on the front, and then on the rear, um, I need eyelet and eyelet. And my question is, can we remove those bar pins? I've never tried that on these Falcon shocks. So if that's the case, I can probably make it work, but uh, just need to know where to proceed. Um, yeah, give me a call, Dan. Let me know what we can do to make this uh, doable, because right now we're, I think we're kind of stuck, aren't we? All right, so what'd you find out about the death wobble, Devin? Well, we assumed it was the track bar. Yeah. They always knew, but it looks like it's brand new. So maybe somebody tried to replace it because they had gotten the death wobble. Right. Uh, and that was their fix, but apparently it wasn't fixed. Right, so the other thing I found was on the lower control arm on the driver's side. Yeah. Is, uh, you know, these bushings are supposed to be pressed in the arm. Yeah. This bushing is dead. doesn't fit yeah. anymore. <laughs> but all, all of it contributes to yeah. death wobble. So, so, so. We, should, we should probably fix that as well. The Terraflex kit came with new control arm, so that takes care of that. that well, that, that's, yeah, so that's... So, so that's, that's great. Done. Okay, thank you, Devin. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. But right, there's your update, guys. Uh, we kind of hit a snag. I, I suspect that we would hit a snag. I mean, this is something that is a 30-year-old vehicle that is pretty rare, uh, and obviously not a lot of people make lift kits for Comanches anymore because not a lot of people have Comanches, right? Keep going, and uh, we'll see yeah. what Terraflex is. I'll, as soon as I hear from, him, I'll give you a call. Sounds okay, good. thank you, Devin. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank right. you. Hey. Devin, hey, Devin, how's it going, dude? I'm good, Roman. How are you? Good. I'm on the other line with Terraflex. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna merge you into with Dan. Okay, so he's on the other line. Okay, so we can talk. Okay, cool. All right. Hey, hey guys, you're you should be all on the same line. Dan, meet Devin. Devin, meet Dan. Um, he's our mechanic. How are we doing, Devin? Uh, good, Dan. How are you? So very good, very good. So tell them the issue, uh, Devin, and and Dan said there's a way maybe we can fix it. So go for it, boys. I'll let you discuss this because now you're over my pay grade. <laughs> okay. So. Um... Yeah, let me, go, let me go back and talk to Falcon, um, and I can give you guys a call back in a second. It may be from uh, my cell. Um, okay, yeah, just, give you guys a call. Yeah, just, just give me a call back, and uh, I'll, 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 convey it to, I'll convey it to Devin. Then hopefully you can get this thing, you know, wrapped up by Friday, because we have to leave Saturday morning. So we, we still have two days, you know, to get this done before I have to get on the road. 
Right. All right. Hey, Devin. Hey, what's up? Check it out, dude. I got part or parts from Terraflex. They overnighted this uh, after our conversation yesterday, and uh, let's see what they send us. I'll let you open it, huh? Another box within a box. Another box within a box. They love doing boxes within boxes. There's that part. So that's what they sent us. That's the bark pin eliminator kit. Yeah, that's all we got. So can you use that? I hope so. Let's let's try it on. I think they'll work just fine. Okay. Maybe some okay. slight modification, but okay. So that's for the front, right? Yeah. So what are you do with the rear? You're gonna have to you're gonna have to press them out. Yeah. So I have to press these bark yeah. pins out, and then uh, that should be good. Yeah. All right. And I noticed that you got uh, you got the exhaust off of it. Yeah, so we're mocking it up right now. We yeah. got the, the flow master in there and went up to a two and a half inch pipe instead of yeah. two and a quarter. So I was just looking at the exhaust and then looking at the exhaust. I noticed that come on under here. You see that? Look at that. It's pretty shot. I think I think we're gonna have to add a new exhaust to our budget. Where are you, where are you gonna run it out? Where is it gonna come out? Well, this is just a mock up. Yeah. Somewhere in this general facility, I think. Okay, good. Yeah, that'll look nice. Yeah, that'll look really nice so that uh, it's kind of hidden under the bumper. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit higher, and that obviously we'll be just peeking at the bottom, but yeah. give you good clearance. And... Will, will, it, will it sound better, you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah? No, these uh, four liters sound awesome. Do they really? Because the straight six sounds good? Yeah. Yeah, okay, because right now it just sounds like, you know, farm truck. Right. <laughs> right. And no. tell me tell me what you did with the uh, Adelie. So you had some issues there as well. Well, because this Adelie is so long, typically on the less expensive Adelie, yeah. they're, they're like they're like half. It's a half yeah. leaf, yeah. But this one is a full leaf. I mean, it's almost as long as the, the main leaf. Yeah. So in doing that, you had to remove these clamps. So I'm going to have to modify these clamps just in the interest so, of so time. That, so that you can, actually, you can actually hold all the leaves together. Yeah, because otherwise... They'll start to shift. They'll slap, up. I mean, and shift and all yeah. that. So we don't want to do that. All right, now let's show, show them how the, the shocks... Let's show them how the shocks are going with the piece we just got. So obviously this will go up there. This new bar pin eliminator kit. Instead of having the bar pin mount here, yeah. this takes place and the shock will mount in there. Okay, that's Obviously great. Like so. Like so. And uh, the biggest question, dude, you think those uh, big old tires are going to fit in these wheel wells? I, I think they will. All right, and they I might mean, rub the a nice, little bit. With the control arms, we can adjust. Back and forth, left yeah, and right. Yeah, so you can probably push it forward. All right, so can you get this done today? You think this is that's the plan. Pick, pick it up tomorrow? Yeah. Because we have to go to Moab go. on Saturday, man. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's the deadline. It's so tight. Well, Devin, I really appreciate everything you're doing, and I hope that these parts have helped. Thank you, Terraflex guys, for uh, you know overnighting them to us so that you know in the morning we're we're good to go with these bad boys. I'll give this back to you. Thank you. And let you continue your work. All right, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what this thing looks like. I think it's gonna look really good. It's gonna look cool. It's I'm gonna excited. look really cool. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Oh boy, Tommy, I see our uh, Jeep Jeep pickup over our videographer's shoulder. And I gotta tell you, I love the stance. Yeah, it certainly looks good from 100 feet. What about 50 feet? Yeah, you know, there are three issues, of course, right, that we had Devin repair. Yep. We had him fix the shifter. Hopefully that's fixed. Yep. We had him do the lift. Yep. And we had him uh, put in a new uh, MagnaFlow exhaust. Well, let's clarify the shift knob, right? Yeah, the shift knob. I mean, the, the transmission was already fixed. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's badass. Come on, let's show it to him. I think we've kept them long, long enough, huh? Well, uh, the tires certainly aren't too small. There's no, no those tires are huge. I wonder if they're going to rub them. Glad we got the pizza cutters. Uh, but yeah, they may. Uh, I don't know. I think they may not rub. They look really good. Yeah, it's a really cool look. So what we did is we kept the original wheels, which I believe are eight and a half inches wide, and our tires are like ten and a half inches wide. So it's a little bit of a squeeze, but this is a really uh, popular look in kind of the vintage Jeep community. And I think it worked perfectly on this one. Devin has had to do a lot of work to make this all kind of work together, but I think it looks really good. All right, let me go get the keys and we'll start up and see what it sounds like, huh? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Devin, it looks really good. <laughs> I was really worried about, uh, you know, the size of those wheels and, uh, and tires. Most important question, does it rub? I haven't got it to yet. Okay. Like it's it's going to clear and 
Yeah. It's gonna be fine. I heard you were in here late last night working on this. It's here till about nine. Oh gee. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you said you couldn't use the uh, rear spacers on the wheels. Yeah. So there's a lip on the edge of the drum on the center yeah. hub. Um, it's just the wheel spacer isn't machined correctly, so okay. it doesn't sit flat. What challenges did you run into doing this like late last night? What were you? Uh, well, the rear brake line, there's no extension kit for that. So you had to you had We had to modify. Yeah. We okay. made a bracket for that. The track bar, had to redrill a hole for that. Okay. How about the death wobble? You think it's gone? I drove it up to about 60 last night. It was good? And it was good, and I, I tweaked the alignment this morning. Okay. So. All right. Thanks, man. We'll, we'll take it for a ride, and I'll come back. And, Absolutely, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, let's go take it for I can't wait to see this thing <laughs> with it started up and hear what it sounds like. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Sign, start it up for the first time. All right, Tommy, I've got the keys. You start up, I want to hear it, all right? Yeah, all let's right. see what it sounds like. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that, oh, yeah. You hear it, Tommy? What do you think? Yeah, it's got a little bit of a burble. That's good, yeah. it's really good. Shall we, uh, shall we take it for a ride? Yeah, let's see how, how it drives along. All right, let's take it for a ride. I'm so excited. It looks so much better. Off we go. Off we go. What do you think? Yeah, look at that, it works. Third. Okay. Second. Oh, third isn't crunchy anymore. Works like a dream. That's so cool to be so much higher, right? Now you feel like you're in a proper off-roader as opposed to like a little farm truck. Yeah, for sure. And I'll tell you what, the ride isn't actually all that bad. No, I was worried that it would get much worse. It's really pretty smooth. How about the power? Does it have enough power for these uh, 33s? Test the uh, structural rigidity of this transmission. Is that what you're applying? No, I just want to know if the engine actually has enough power to turn these bigger wheels and tires. Yeah, it feels pretty adequate, actually. Yeah. I'll give it some beans here. I'll give it some beans. Yeah. Look at that. That's not bad. It's actually really fast. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So uh, this is a short bed Comanche, so the wheelbase is, is pretty small. But even still, it just cruises along. Alright, now the, of course, important bit. Yep. Um, this is the Jeep Jeep pickup challenge. Yep. Uh, we started off by buying this for about $6,500. Uh huh. Uh, then uh, we, of course, had to have the transmission fixed. Yep. That was $2,400. Yep. And guess how much Devin charged us uh, for all this work for the lift? Uh, for the exhaust, I think it was very reasonable. Well, he also put the tires on it. Yeah, tires. Tires uh, mounted, balanced, yeah. aligned. Yeah. I'm gonna say three thousand dollars. He charges just, just over a thousand bucks. Whoa! Thousand eighty. So right now we're at uh, thirty-four hundred eighty plus the sixty-five hundred. That's really reasonable. Yeah, that's for all the work he did. Uh, and you know what's next, of course? Fixing the grill. Well, that, yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. Uh, we have to put on the uh, little bar. We have to put on the big old KCs, right? Oh, yeah, we got to make this thing but, 90s chic. But before any of that happens, Tommy, I think the next thing we do is we go for a road trip to you know where? Moab, Utah. That's right. We head on out to Moab, Utah, because we're going to go test drive the new Gladiator. Yep. So this is a great grandfather. Well, this grandfather is kind of great grandfather, but you know what I mean. Ish ish of that truck i think we're gonna have to do a video comparing this to the gladiator 100 percent. that's gonna be amazing old versus new all right so join us next time as we're hopefully in sunny moab doing a little bit of wheeling and comparing to the gladiator as always this is roman and tommy all right see you guys next time ciao coming up next time on the jeep jeep pickup challenge Hey guys, welcome to Moab, Utah, and the episode that I've been waiting for. I'm in the Gladiator, and Tommy is in the Comanche. Down the butt clencher. Oh, God. Oh, he's great. <laughs>